I'm a spy, actually. But you can't expect me to put that in my file. So, is that it for introductions? You haven't even offered to buy me dinner yet. Reports place you as someone who prefers talk over action. You obviously read half the file. I like fighting, too. Besides, you're the one who's been doing most of the talking. Only because I need information. Provoke me further and I'll get it another way. You mean like raising your voice? You need to work on your approach. All you're doing is boring me. So, you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Yes. You, on the other hand, have managed to enter Rome quietly. I didn't know you were here until an hour ago. You're skilled at keeping a low profile. No murders. No public announcement. Very impressive. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I've found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. Well, we're done talking, so you can go fuck off now. I expected that reaction. I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. I'm alone. I'm not in contact with anyone. Certainly not the agency that cast me out. Your denial just adds to the evidence. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. I think you're the one who needs to leave. And it's simple, because your boss's plan is flawed. Really? Leyland's never seen the world outside of the boardroom or an air-conditioned limo. And he's planning something to change the world? Doesn't seem to me like he knows what he's doing. Of course. He provided a goal, another provided a plan, I provided the means. We are done here. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. I confess, you slipped into Rome almost without us noticing. You were even more difficult to track after that. Between Halbeck and local authorities, the locals were the tough ones. No matter. Mr. Marburg found you. That must have been a surprise, meeting up for lunch like that. There wasn't much time to eat, actually. He was too busy talking, and I was too busy keeping my hands where he could see them. <laughs> so a normal business lunch, then. I'd be curious to hear more. And your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Oh, we laughed, we cried, we had a grand old time. That Marburg, he could do a killer impression of you. He mentioned you being something of a smart ass, not taking things seriously. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, 
This woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my God. In the end, it was. Mike, we may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? Did you see her picture? No way am I missing out on that action. Nice. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? No, Miss St. James, this is Michael Thornton. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I don't believe we've met before. How do you know my name and why are you calling? I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? Of course. I'll send you the address of a local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon, Miss St. James. Just in case anybody's wondering, I still haven't bought any upgrades or weapons. I only bought that one armor. I'm waiting for the G22 pistol. So. Mina wrote way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. How nice. I sure hope Nazri likes waterboarding. There's a note from Parker here. The agency made me give this to you. <laughs> what a guy. for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Just tell me what you know. We'll keep this brief. Oh, okay. I, uh, where to start? The beginning? I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. What makes you think he intends to kill me? Termination contracts. Even one for a man named Albara, a professor here in Italy. It was cross-linked to several contracts Do within the VCI. Do you have contracts? That'd be valuable evidence. Not on me, no. I see. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Madison, you did the right thing warning me, and I appreciate it. I probably shouldn't have accepted your call. I think that may make things worse for you. For me? I think I was a little more worried about you. And I appreciate it. I'll do whatever I can to protect you. You need to look out for yourself first. Mike, Marburg is going to try and kill you. What are you going to do? Miss St. James, you've only been employed by the VCI for a short time, and as Marburg's assistant. That's an important position, especially for a man of his influence. Yes. I was abroad studying art history, but when it comes to paying the bills, I thought I would apply for an administrative assistant position. The language skills helped. VCI does a lot of work with foreign governments. My point is, what you discovered is sensitive information. This could prove dangerous for you. I know. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for, but the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site. 
or when he travels. <laughs>